well know. And, uh, oh boy. Let's see, what else is I can think, tell you about that? He, uh, when, they, when the president was gone, he ran that university, and everybody uh, was glad when the president was gone, so, because he was in charge. And uh, he built uh, he built the commerce, the business school building, and had that constructed. And he had, and uh, your uh, great grandmother Bliss uh, were best friends with Paul. And uh, what was her name? Paul and uh, Paul Brosman, who was the dean of, dean of the law school, right next door. He built his business school right next to the law school. And Paul and uh, Paul Brosman and Kate. Her name was Kate. Uh, were best friends. Good and, name. Hmm? Kate is a good name. Yeah, is it though? I wonder. I wonder. <laughs> of course. Excellent. And. Uh, so uh, uh, they they were best friends and piled around and partied together. I remember one uh, Sunday afternoon I'd come courting your your mother, and they lived at eighteen twenty eight Calhoun Street, which is a lovely uh, big uh, home where we had uh, I think we had our wedding reception there. Anyway, I was. Uh, I always like to get my hands dirty in the garden. And I was in the backyard, uh, and uh, they really played a trick on me. <laughs> they got the best laugh out of it. They, they knew I'd be back there digging in the yard and, and uh, digging up the garden and aerating the soil and doing, playing this and doing that. And they went out, knowing that I was coming over to court, and that I'd be right out there as I usually was. I didn't want to sit around the front room listening to them talk. And uh, uh, anyway, so they, they went out there and they planted a silver dollar out in the garden, knowing it where I'd be digging. <laughs> and they, 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 they poo pooed my idea of going out there all the time and fooling in that dumb garden, which didn't grow very much at all. And they put, well, okay, I run again. And I was so excited, I found a silver dollar. <laughs> I was exuberant, oh, look, see. It's all worth it. <laughs> they, they can barely suppress their giggles and laughs until I finally realized that it had been planted and I was a fool made of. <laughs> um, I remember that. And, uh, let's see what I was trying to think to tell you. Uh, of course, uh, I think that even though his name was Leslie James, everybody called him, you know how they called him Bill? Yeah. Well, because, uh, of course, when he was growing up, he was the youngest child of, uh, I don't know how many siblings, plus that single daughter who was a coma carnalist. And they had a, a, a nurse, obviously white, they didn't have any colored people in Iowa in those times, in those days. Uh, not his servants anyway, so they had a, uh, a white nurse taking care of him, and the only reason, she, one of the ways she could get him uh, to, to stop uh, crying and carry it on was to sing that song at that time was very popular, Bill Bailey, won't you please come home. And we quieted him. Bill Bailey, won't you be? So that is possibly how you <laughs> ended up with your Monica. Hmm. So if you ever hear that song, very rarely, probably not anymore, but uh, if you ever hear it, you know that. There's a connection there. Excuse me. Well, uh, uh, 
wish I could think of some more family stories to tell you. And if I do, I'll record them and uh, send them on. Anyway, I sure would like to get back to San Antonio and get some more of that good old Tex-Mex food. So we promise not to camp on your doorstep, but... Uh, they don't have any good Tex-Mex in Missouri? I don't think so. Probably not. No, probably not. It's strictly a San Antonio situation, you know. I, I'm anxious to meet uh, uh, my great-granddaughter besides. I say Ming, but you all have a have a name for her, don't you? Chloe? Chloe, yes. Chloe, yeah. yeah. I won't call her Ming unless uh, 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 you better admonish me because she, she wants to grow up in Chloe. <laughs> yeah, she, she does like her name, and we, we tried calling her... Chinese name, and she doesn't even like that anymore. Oh, really? I, then I promise not to. Well, you know, it's it's funny because it's like new family, new name, and how how you see that so often in the Bible. Yeah, you're right. You're right there. Yeah. Well, hopefully, I'll have a chance to uh, give her my blessing, a little kiss on the head. That's about it. <laughs> But uh, as I said, she would like to get back down to San Antonio for the Lord come says, come up here. Mm. Well, uh, goodness knows, I don't guess y'all will be traveling this this winter time up here to Christmas, some, will you? No, huh? no, we're coming in June. Well, good. That's a good time to come. That's one of the best months ever to be born. My birthday being on the seventh, that is. <laughs> anyway.